So once we have set up trading MRP, we can now go and do a transaction. So under the uh, trading MRP uh, transaction icon, you can see that the first thing here is a forecast entry. So this actually allows us to define a forecast that we would use during MRP plans. You can have as many forecasts as you want. Uh, notice that we can define a forecast on a per day basis. So it just depends on uh, what day you want to use, create uh, the forecast. So for today, let's say I want to create a sales forecast forecast I'll just create a new one so let's say this is for 2018 for today let's say I just want to forecast that for February 1 I will have a demand of a for a11030 in location 1 uh, let's just make it a bit easy to identify so let's say I want to have a demand of 88 for a1103 on February 1 let's create a forecast for March so let's save on March 1 for a11030 uh, let's make it 99 and then uh, just one more let's say for April Let's create a demand of 111. So this is now an example of a forecast. Uh, obviously in Sage, you can always import export. You could create a forecast in Excel and then import it into the system. So let's use this forecast for our example. And then at this point, I will now go into the planning run window. So this is where the planner actually generates an MRP plan for the trading MRP module. So you can see that the first thing that we have to select is a network. Let's say this is my plan for the East Coast. Notice how I can have as many as five plan records for each network, which the planner can use to play around with the data. I can then select which forecast I want to use. So let's use 2018. And then notice how I can also select a calendar. So I could have a calendar specific to this particular network. So let's say it could be that my East Coast has a separate calendar from my West Coast. Underneath, you can see that we have several selections. So I can choose to expedite PO record uh, in case I have a demand earlier than an actual PO due date. I can also limit planning run to a specific records on my item planning table. So it could be that uh, out of 1,000 items, I just want to look at 100 items, which I have defined into my item planning table. So this is just another means of speeding up the plan. Underneath, you can see several checkboxes where I can define whether I want to include stock in Sage. I see the POs in Sage PO. Do I want to include bomb? So this bomb refers to the IC bombs and kits, of course. And then you can also include PR, which is the purchase requisitions in Sage PO. I can also include the sales orders in OE and then I can also include kits. So at this point, I can do a planning run. So this is now generating a full MRP plan looking at ICOEPO, and then based on my item planning parameters, such as calendar, item planning setup, I can then generate recommendations as to what needs to be produced, what needs to be purchased in Sage 300. Mm -hmm.